Preventing duplicates from ever being entered in the first place is actually pretty easy. And validation is the best approach because it will come up and warn the user no matter where they try to enter in that duplicate. If you use a script trigger, you'll have to make sure it runs everywhere. I prefer a validation here, and I think it works pretty well. So we need to first create a relationship. That will allow the current record that we're trying to enter to look at all the rest of the records in the database. So we're going to use a same table relationship. Something similar to what we did here. So we'll duplicate this, change it to duplicates, and then connect it. And I just like to randomly select fields and then use the type ahead to more easily locate the field I want. There's a lot of fields here and it's much faster this way. So now we have duplicate equals duplicate. Let's try it out and see how this works. We'll go to the field section, go find our name first field, and now we'll put a validation on it. Validation by calculation will say, does the duplicate from the current record not equal whatever it finds elsewhere out there? There we go. Put a little space there. So the current record should look at all the rest of the records and determine if there's anything that matches there. If they don't equal each other, that's true. That means you get no validation. We'll put a nice message here. Duplicate record, something like that. Click OK. Now I've deleted all the other John Mark Osborns out of here, so I'm going to create a new record now. And I'm going to enter, remember only the first name is being validated, so I'm going to enter 2066. That's all I need. I don't need to enter the rest of it. Then we'll put in here Osborne. And then we'll put John Mark. And then we'll click out. And you see it gives us this message. I'm going to revert the record and then delete it. It'll go down to 103 now, right? Now the new duplicate is gone, right? Or the, this, the new record's gone. Now, but watch what happens if I go ahead and modify the only one that's in here now. I simply took the K out, typed it back in, and we still get that same message. And that's because of how the relationship is working here. What we told it to do is to look at all of the records that are the same. So it's actually seen itself. So the current record looks at all the related records, including itself. So we need to make it exclude itself. And it's actually pretty easy to do, just KP customers. KP customers, not equal, add. So that way it doesn't look at any other record. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So now we'll go ahead and type in a K in there and see if it does it. No message, good. And let's make sure it still works here. So we'll come in and type in 2066 Osborne and then John Mark. It gives us the error message. We say no. If I change that to John Osborne, it should accept it and we're good to go. So what we need to do now at this point, since we don't know which field we're going to enter into first, we need to take that calculation that's on the name first and add it to the rest of the fields that are included in that duplicate calculation. So we'll come in here, grab that, go down to name last, Paste it right in there, easy to do. Just put a simple message. You might want to do something a little bit fancier than what I've done. And you might want to play around with these options up here, depending on what you want to do. And then we'll go down to our address. Validation, paste, click OK, duplicate record. And now we have it working on all three of those fields. So whichever one's the last to be filled in that makes it a duplicate, now we'll get a validation in all those cases. So it's pretty easy to do, pretty simple procedure. Um, you don't have to do much and know much about FileMaker. Just a small relationship and a, a simple calculation validation. And let's get rid of this record here we don't need anymore. I think one John Mark Osborne is enough for the entire world.